Hello, how's it going? I wanted to do a jam session, just make a patch in Hive and explore some of the new features. So I figured I would turn on a screen capture and let you listen along uh, as I do a little bit of a dive into some of the new stuff. So we've got a an initialized patch, just a saw wave. Uh, so actually the first thing I want to start with is going to be halting the shape sequencer. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what what keys um, was I playing? Okay, I'm gonna lock this down and then use the shape sequencer to uh, modulate the pitch. So let's change the pitch in semitones, but I'm going to quantize this to fifths and octaves. And then I set shape sequencer A to halt. So I actually have to set this up to be modulated now. So I need the position of A. And then I'm going to modulate this with a function generator. And then the function generator, let's just take the input of LFO2. Let's not mess with the function generator because I'm not I'm not too great at using that actually. Oh, it was actually fine before. I just needed to change the depth of the first modulator. So let's see actually what the function generator sounded like. Thank you. 
right, so I'm feeding now the first filter into the second filter. And the first filter is just a low pass. And we've got the second filter set to reverb. Which you can see really started to get interesting once we played with the filter cutoff and the resonance. And... You could get some really chaotic stuff happening if you just modulate the, these two parameters. So what I want to do though is modulate the filter cutoff, but not with the LFO. Actually, let's see. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do the LFO, but I want to set it to uh, random hold. So that's a bit too clicky. Maybe it's because of the resonance. No, it looks like it's just uh, random hold is a bit too, it's not smooth enough to be a modulator for this. Let's slow the sound down a little bit. It's a bit too fast, I think, for what's happening. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna hear something slower uh, with this modulation. Uh, I'm gonna change the low pass to 12 to let a little more of the frequency range in. This is fun. And uh, again, I'm just holding one key. I don't have my webcam on the keyboard. Uh, I don't have it turned on at all, but you can see down here, I'm just holding F and the pitch changes again are happening with the modulations on the semitones parameter. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of the movement is really coming from kind of this reverb filter being moved by the LFO. So I want to change the resonance too, but at a different rate. So LFO2 is going into the function generator uh, for envelope one. Oh, that might have been why it was clicky. I forgot that we had this set up with the... Uh, I, I forgot we had a halted shape sequencer that the function generator is modulating to. Uh, so let's actually do the same type of modulation for the resonance. Sounds like the ratio is going to be something else. So actually, let's take the mix down. Really boring sounding. Put the mix up. So we've got the ratio modulated now too. That makes it sound even crazier. So 
So I want uh, a little more cut off in this sound. I think I'm gonna take one of the other sh uh, shape sequencers. I'm gonna set the cutoff to be low. I'm going to take the volume and we're just going to open that up kind of in the same way but with a triangle and then we're going to do it a little slower here. <laughs> Add a delay in here. Let's switch this to mono. It's a bit of a cleaner sound. And then I want this mod envelope to actually uh, modulate the cutoff as well. features is you can use noise as a mod source as well. Um, so I think if we use noise on, you know, the, uh, the ratio, the dampening, any of these uh, parameters here, we could have, we could have some fun with that. So yeah, mod noise.
Starting to play more keys on the keyboard now, obviously. I just want to see, uh, I've got the ARP turned on now, and I just wanted to see how this would sound sped up with more, uh, more notes played. <laughs> That sounds wild. to set this uh, reverb up more as a resonator. such a zappy sound. Let's take oscillator two and t put that into, uh, let's make it white noise. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm just gonna experiment with taking off the halt option for shape A. Just give it a more uh, predictable change in tone. That sounds nice adding in the pulse. Alright, I'm gonna take off this filter to see what our sound is like without it. So we've got more chaos going on just with the reverb filter, uh, clearly. Uh, I think with the reverb filter and the dissonant filter, especially, uh, maybe the sideband too, I haven't played around with that one uh, too much. I've had just very quick sessions where I checked out these two filters. Um, they seem really good for adding just chaotic elements. Uh, the comb filter too, um, I've also heard some sound examples from people who have used the, the comb as a, uh, a resonator to kind of get more of like a plucky guitar sound. Uh, and it sounds, you know, pretty authentic, um, just coming out of the comb filter. So, uh, there's some cool uses that way, uh, sort of like for physical model, physical modeling, uh, and stuff along those lines. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting familiar with uh, the new features in here. I think we put some some of them to good use uh, with this sound. Sorry if it, it probably was hurting some ears. I didn't throw a limiter or anything on. Um, although I've got the DB down a little bit uh, on the track in Bitwig, so hopefully that helped. Uh, I'll throw the patch up if anyone's interested in checking that out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen capture here. Uh, thank you for tuning in.